So, is either man now having doubts as they face the competition? Would you like to have been doing lamb secretly? Uh, uh, you know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm still very happy with my dish. You know, I think it's a lovely lunch. And a, you know, it's a, it's a Bertie surprise. It should be grand. There's something, something grand about the main course, you know? Yeah. Almost epic. I think you should get to eat what you want to eat on your birthday. <laughs> I think you shouldn't have to be grand just for the sake of a bulky Irish chef, you know? <laughs> well, you know the answer to that. We're going to have to get the Queen to vote, aren't we? Man, if you're watching, if you'd like to just vote, then you can have what you want at no. your banquet. <laughs> as well as having a reputation as a hearty, country-style cook, Richard is well known as an innovator, and the process of making his Wellington is a revelation. Having briefly browned his venison to seal the flavour in, he's now making a kind of stuffing to go with it called a duxelle. The key ingredients are mushrooms, shallots, brandy, and a very rich touch, this, foie gras. Paul sees an opening. Do you think all that fat would kill an 80-year-old woman? No, she'd love it. Be good for her. I have not seen anyone say no to that taste of duck liver on their That's... palate. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is it's quality, <laughs> quality control. Easy. Easy. There are quite a few stages to this dish. With the duxelle lightly fried and blended, the next step is to blanch some cabbage leaves. It turns out that as well as adding a healthy splash of colour, they also play a structural role. The whole idea is to hold the mushroom around the venison. Oh, I see, you're going I, to put that I, inside the pie. I need it, yes. Yeah, lovely. So you've not tried it before? Yeah, I have tried it, Paul, yeah. Did it work and good? Yeah, it, it worked very well. Uh, That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> you! <laughs> Starting to get a little bit of rivalry now between me and you, you know what I mean? I'm going to have to watch no, my... No, you haven't come over and hit me yet, so, oh, so now I'm starting to just push and push a wee bit further <laughs> every time. <laughs> Richard's dish has looked impressively posh so far, but cling film? for the Queen. I need to form a big roulade with venison in the middle and the mushroom around yeah. the outside. Uh -huh. And I need to tighten it. Oh, OK. And just to then rest it, and then I'll put it in pastry. Yeah, OK. Isn't this pretty, this cabbage? You use it's, it a lot? I, well, the cabbage and the potato is what we're very good at. This is going to be quite rich, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So where's it going to rest? It will rest uh, just in the fridge, just for just for 15-20 minutes, not long. So it's what, basically you've got to chill it to firm it all up. Yeah, that, that yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. There you go. That's it. Fantastic. So that goes in the fridge. So that goes mm. in the fridge. 